The First Indochina War ended in 1954 and led to the expulsion of French forces who had occupied the peninsula for almost a century. Vietnam was left divided into the Communist North and Catholic-led but predominantly Buddhist South. The South was supported by the United States, who saw the spread of communism as one of the 20th century's worst problems. The fear was that a domino effect would occur, that after the loss of one nation to communism, neighbors would surely follow. The United States was facing an encroaching communist front and decided that Vietnam was the place to make a stand. Recent operations saw thousands of South Vietnamese families moved into militia-controlled fortified villages as part of the Strategic Hamlet Resettlement Program. However, Viet Cong have infiltrated several of these South Vietnamese hamlets, killed their leaders, and seized control. We need to support the South Vietnamese Air Force in wiping out these VC-controlled hamlets. For the first part of this operation, we'll soften up their defenses with airstrikes, ready for an assault with light tanks and infantry. I'm having some problems with rudder response. Need to perform a maneuverability check. Roger that. I'm listening to check you from behind. I'm on your six. Initiate maneuverability check. eliminate the Viet Cong's infiltrated hamlets, bomb the occupied villages to destroy the Viet Cong's base, and help to reduce the enemy presence in the area.
NVA MiGs are approaching. Protect our bombers before the MiGs reach them. Good job. Now destroy the remaining hamlets. Airstrikes on the VC-controlled hamlets were successful. Their defensive fortifications have been severely damaged, and now the ground attack must commence. South Vietnamese light tanks and infantry are already on their way to the hamlets. We will provide air support to ensure their success. But be careful. AA defenses are still active in the area, so we'll need to prioritize these when spotted. This is Cobra 2. I think we've been hit. I'm initializing test control sequence. Roger that, Cobra 2. We don't see any visible damage to your bird. Perform the full control test to confirm. Daddy fingers and hits your face. Black box stone on across my place. Thanks, Bishop. All seems to be working well. Proceed with the mission objectives. South 
Some Vietnamese tanks failed to break the Hamlet fortifications in the valley. We don't have any ground forces in the area, but to break the Hamlet's defenses, our Cobra Squad will crush them from the air. Never. Enemy fortifications were eliminated. There is still considerable resistance in the hamlet, and to minimize losses, we will provide air support for Vietnamese ground forces. We can capture the second hamlet quickly by dropping our troops near the hamlet at LZ Bravo. However, LZ is heavily protected by double A's. Cobras have to destroy the double A's to allow Hueys to deploy our boys at LZ Bravo. Great! Our troops were deployed safely at the LZ. We have to provide cover fire until they establish a defensive perimeter.
surveillance reports NVA HQ located near our position. Destroy it to minimize the NVA presence in the area. After successful experimentation with chemical defoliants, the President has authorized full-scale use of Agent Purple to clear the jungle and make the countryside safer for our troops. Jungle and forested areas are excellent hideouts for Viet Cong soldiers. If we wipe out the forest, then our ground forces will get the advantage and the VC will be no match for us in direct combat. Your C-123 will be accompanied by a fighter escort in case of trouble. Remember our motto, only you can prevent force. Our recon reports several AA units in the area we need to defoliate. To allow our C-123s to make defoliation runs, we need to destroy identified AA's. AA positions were eliminated. Our C-123 is approaching its defoliation run.
NBA MIGs are inbound. Protect escaping C-123. Settling communities is one thing, but now here we are dropping foul chemicals all over the jungle. Fighting trees instead of communists? Using chemicals to destroy the land seems like something you would denounce your opponent for. It's just not right. Still, I see the reasoning behind it. We deny our enemy their crops and their hiding places in the dense foliage. We make the jungle safer for our troops. I just hope that we don't turn this beautiful country into a wasteland before we're done. A supply convoy has been reported on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. The convoy must be destroyed. Watch out for double A's protecting the convoy. intercepting our bombing squad. The bombers must be protected.
NBA general is mobile. Don't let him escape into the jungle. The USS Maddox reports that she has been attacked by North Vietnamese torpedo boats. You are immediately dispatched to defend her at all costs. Destroy the attacking boats and protect the Maddox. Dismissed. USS Maddox is reporting incoming hostile Vietnamese P-4. Take off and assess the situation. Defend the Maddox from attacking forces. USS Maddox reports enemy fire. Sink hostile enemy ships. The incident in the Gulf of Tonkin took place on August 2nd, 1964. Intelligence reported a similar attack two days later, which was eventually revealed to be false. However, President Lyndon B. Johnson, perhaps still trying to make his mark on an electorate grieving for JFK, addressed the nation on August 4th. He reported the attacks and requested the authority to undertake a military response. On August 7th, Congress passed the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which granted President Johnson the authority to conduct military operations in Southeast Asia. Johnson's false testimony in Congress escalated the situation and resulted in a military conflict which cost the lives of 50,000 U.S. military personnel, over 2 million Vietnamese, and immense material damage to Southeast Asia.